Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Nintendo Switch Ryu Jinx emulator completely portable. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to make Ryu Jinx completely portable. I'm doing this on a Windows PC. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go to the link in the description. It's going to take you to the Ryujinx website. You're going to go ahead and download the Windows version. Just left click there and you can download it. Once you have it, you're going to have a zip file. And you're going to want to right click on your zip file. I'm using 7-zip. And you're going to go to Extract Here. Once it's extracted, the folder is named Publish. So what I like to do right away is right click, Rename. And I like to just call it Ryu Jinx. So we're going to open up our Ryu Jinx folder. And inside of here, we're going to right click on a blank space, New, Folder. And we're going to call this folder Portable, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and run ryujinx.exe for the first time. And it's going to let us know that we don't have any keys installed, but we will get there. There we go. So from here, we're just going to hit OK, and then we're going to exit the emulator. Now inside of our portable folder, we're going to want to go into our system folder, like this. And we're going to have to install our keys. I can't show you where to get the firmware or the keys, but if you Google, you'll find them. So you want 17.0.1, that's what I like to use right now. So even if you just have prod.keys is fine, I have the prod and title.keys but I am going to copy them in there, paste, and we're going to go back to our Ryujinx folder, and again what we want to do is right click on a blank space, new folder, and we're going to name it games. So for our games, I just have one here, Captain Toad, we're going to go back to our Ryujinx folder, run the emulator one more time. There we go. So we're going to want to go to Tools, Install Firmware, and I am installing from a directory, Miner Extracted, but you can install, install from a zip if you choose. So I'm going to install from directory, Miner on my desktop, Firmware, Select folder. It usually just takes a few seconds here before a pop-up will appear. Do I want to continue? Yes. There we go. Now our firmware, we're good to go. So next, we're going to go to Options. We're going to go to Settings. In here, I disable Discord. It's up to you. Uh, and I just disable Confirm Exit. But what we, we want to focus on here is game directory, so we'll hit Add. And we're going to want to go to where we have our Ryujinx folder. And we made that games folder earlier, and we'll hit Select Folder. Now what I'm going to do is go to my input, and if you're using an Xbox controller like I am, Auto Mapped, we'll hit Apply, OK. So now we have this, we're halfway to Portable. Let's exit out. We're going to go into our portable folder. And we're going to go to config.json. We're going to right click. Now if you don't have Notepad++ installed, you'll have to go to open with, choose another app, Notepad. Hit OK. What we're focused on here, we're going to scroll down until we see game underscore DIRS 
and we just want this to say the word games just like this so make sure yours looks just like this when you're done file save close and now if I were to create a new folder to bury Ryu Jinx in I'll go in there open it up launch the emulator I apologize for how long this is taking, but uh, my computer's a little sluggish today for some reason. And there we go. So you can move it anywhere you want. You are completely portable within Ryujinx. So that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.